previously on Pinks. Orlando racer Chris Thorne, with his pit crew Skip Brazil and Jay Johnson, took on a Chevy Nova and a Monte Carlo. This week in a surprise move, Skip Frizzell steps up with his 72 Cutlass 442 to settle another long-standing dispute with crosstown rival Rod Davis and his 71 Chevy Nova. It's a best three out of five drag race for Pink Slips. Pink's racing, lose the race, lose your ride. Let's race. ducking and dodging. Can't believe he had taken put a Chevrolet motor in an Oldsmobile. I didn't lose it, he lost it. One up on him and I ain't stopping now. He had a major problem. I gotta have time to fix it. Right now he's in tears. Just trying to figure out how to beat that car. And I'll whip you by three again. That's a race that I'd like to see. Get the junk out there and let's get it done. It's getting closer and closer. I'd like to welcome you guys to the third episode of Pinks at the Orlando event. We've had two races today. This is the third. T is going to drive, and you're going to negotiate. Why would you put your car on the line? I've been wanting a piece of that Nova, and he keeps ducking and dodging. So I'm going to find out. So this is a big rivalry on the street, something you guys don't want to do, but you decided to settle your score on my show. They were backed into a corner in the tow. Now it's a done deal. Well, we're not backed into a corner. We've, and just, we've just been waiting on the right opportunity. The best thing to actually get the, the score settled is to get it down the track and get it done. And tonight when we take his car home, I guess uh, it'll probably be all over on that. OK, two minutes to look at each other's car. Gentlemen, good luck. We can get it done. You want to open up your gadget thing here? Look and see how much nitrous he's got on it. They got fuel cell, they got lines coming out of the trunk, they got nitrous. It's on radial tires. We can steal him out of the gate. Yeah. I'm gonna have to walk it out of the hole and at least get in, pop into first before I do But you want gas. three? Four. Four. Okay guys, we have you back at Pink Circle. Rod, you've had a chance to take a look at Skip's car. Did you see anything in there that surprised you? No, nah, I mean it's typical stuff, small block car on the gas. I can't believe he had taken put a Chevrolet motor in an Oldsmobile, but you know, I mean, that's his, that's his choice, I guess. Did you see anything in their car that might have surprised you? They have a small block also Chevrolet, but they have a lot better heads than we do. They have a Victor Jr. Edelbrock head, so they have probably a lot more motor than us to be able to use those heads. And they got drag radials, so it's, we're, we're starting off again where they're going to have to give us something. What are you looking for? We're looking for a couple of cars. We didn't plan on racing. We came out today. We have on street tires. You would drive anywhere. They got racing radial slicks. So that's the number one disadvantage for us. So you're looking for two car lengths, and you're going to run looking on for five. Five, five. Five car lengths. Five. 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 <laughs> I thought we were out here racing. I didn't know we were giving up charity. I, I can't see five. I can see three. You running gas? Yep. You gotta give me four. You four. run into gas. We'll, we'll start at three. Like I said, we'll negotiate from there. Then run motor. You disconnecting the bottle? Yeah, I'll disconnect the bottle. Motor to motor, disconnect the bottle, we'll do it. You agree with that? Yes. Let's race. Let's get the first one done. Good enough. With three cars on motor, don't give it no slack. What happened there?
What happened there? Something happened there, Todd. Sound like they've had their nitrous turned on. What happened? Hood blew up on Skip's car. It's down there off to the side with the hood rolling up the roof. Hood blew up. I don't know how bad the car is hurt. I gotta wait. Nitrous off it. Parody forgot to latch his hood. Skip, what happened? Uh -huh. I shifted in high gear and the hood blew open. You're well, yeah. you're okay. Yeah, fortunately, we understand that you actually finished the race and won that yeah. race. Yeah, I got two more to go too because that <laughs> going home with me. That's he had a major problem. He wants to continue to race. He wants to take your car home. Will you give him a couple minutes to at least get his hood off? Yeah, I mean, that would be the sportsman-like thing to do. Yep, just pissed off, man. I messed up my car, huh? but it's all right. It's all right. You can have your nice orange Nova to take home. It's like it pulled from the back first. I wonder if there was too much air was coming in the, the grill. Yeah, I mean, it needs two fenders and everything now. No, it's good for The only advantage we got is right now he's in tears. So even if he takes it home, it's messed up. We good? Rob, would you agree on that race that Skip outperformed you and he won that race no. by 10 cars? No. <laughs> I believe my driver don't know how to turn the nitro switch off and he dumped raw fuel in the system and that's it. Do you agree you lost that last race? I didn't lose it. He lost it. Yeah, I lost it. But you have to admit it before we can move on. Okay, I admitted it. Yeah, I lost it. Skip, can you tell me what happened when your hood popped up? It's like as soon as I lifted, it snapped the pins and the hood just comes straight up. So I just tried to keep the same distance between me and the guardrail because I knew it was straight. You're okay. Yeah, I'm running. I'm one up on them and I ain't stopping now. What do you think the damage to your car was just with that hood going up? That hood's a grand by itself. It was a, you know, a W30 hood. So, two, three thousand dollars easily. Do you feel sorry for this guy for what happened to him? No. Nope. Okay. Second negotiation. What would you guys like to do? You are now. I down give him the same race. race. He will I give him the same race. I can beat him at that race. Will you take we'll that take race? We'll take that race again. Done. Let's race. Let's do it. Rotate him one time, then come up here and burn him hard. Yeah, we got this one. Oh yeah. It's in the bag. That's been his dream car his whole life. He's always had fast cars, but that's by far the nicest. for a problem. Last time I had the nitrous noise on this time, everything was good to go. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just sparking over there. We got we got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pull the battery off. Yeah, I gotta have time to fix it. I guess it got one of the wires. Rod, Jay, come up the line, please. Here's where we are right now. Skip, you do not have to be here. You can start working on your car right now and leave it up to him. He's speaking on your behalf. Is that okay? All right. 
Jay, can you explain what's going on right now? Well, we're panicking. The car just shut off. We had to disconnect the battery. We had some wires touching each other. We're trying to chase that down right now. Are you willing to give him some time to fix his car? Race has got to go on. Um, he's ready to take that shiny gold toy home. Okay. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give him some time. Unfortunately for you, you did sign the agreement that if you could not get your car fixed within the time allotted, you would hand over your car tonight. No, we and don't want it for free. We want to take it. There's a difference. So we'll, we'll wait. Skip, can you fill us in? I'm gonna need a couple minutes. I gotta do some rewiring, I guess, when the hood blew off it. Snatched on the wiring harness, too, and got it up against the header and cooked the starter wire. Okay. So I gotta rewire it right quick. Hopefully we can get it before the track shuts down, and then it's over. Track shuts down. He ain't ready, and it ain't over. It's still my car. It's your car. Okay. Well, we just had to wait a little bit longer till we claim it. I think we can cover him on fire. You think so? Yeah, well, I ain't gonna give it to him. I ain't gonna give him till he starts begging and crying for it. No, I give it. Good. I want him. I want him to get the car together. Ready? Yeah. Ho! Oh. How much time did you take to get that fixed? It was amazing. Five minutes. Five minutes, and we thought we had catastrophic failure. This is now the third negotiation. Since you lost, I'll look to you, Jay. What are you looking for? Gave us three and beat us by two. That's five cars. We're asking for six. Then you're going to give us four and let us use the gas in high gear. At least that. And then no, I say five straight. We need six. Five they straight. They already beat us by five. Would you go five and a half to get this next one going? I don't know. I think it's going to be too tight at five and a half. I don't think we can get around. Five and a half and the driver wins. And yeah, that's what I want to see. You're just hooking and going. Yeah. Hey, We're hooking and going. Did you take a good look at what happened last time? I know. He it was on film. You need like to review him. it again. Because if you need to review it again, we were sideways almost. He, he spun 20 feet and then he hooked and went. We spun all down the track. He was spinning his... My man did a half a mile on a quarter mile track. <laughs> half a mile we, on a quarter mile guys, track. We could we could keep this up all night. I'd say, can we go five and a half and ditch this next one done? I know what you're so and afraid you're of. Five Ron? and a half. We're not scared of anything. Five and a half, you get your junk out there and let's get it done. Great. You know, a gentleman that already knows he's going to lose his car is crying. Wow. It's getting closer and closer. T, half a car length. Now they'll start crying for cars. If you win the next race, you take that vehicle home tonight, I'm going to lean very heavily to give them the race they're looking for. So what are you looking for? And I hope, Rod, you're flexible. I mean, he's playing with the throttle bad. Up here, he, he pedaled it a couple times. He pedaled it once. Spun, he got out of it. Oh, like I'm going to listen to you. You just should have left over there. Uh, once he got hooked, he ran you right down. Eight. Make it nine. Eight. You have two races under your belt. Would you go eight and a half? You, you know, see down there, I think so. we're going to take it anyway, so we'll go ahead and just give you your nine, and we'll nine. go ahead and just put it on it. Get it over Will you we'll accept gladly take that. the nine? We'll take that. Let's race. And leave on that bitch. Don't lift. Skip, you understand that if you do lose this race, you lose your ride tonight. All right, there ain't much left of it. Jay, they might be broke. Hey, we're gonna push this thing back. Are, are you broke or are you ready to go? 
Uh, we're not ready to go yet. Okay. They've given you time, Jay. I think it's only fair that you shut him down right there and he gets some time. This little shot right here, he probably put a quart of his oil out. That was the race, and if you would have won, you would have won their Skip's vehicle, okay? Right. Here's what happened. He'd flash me, everything worked perfectly. I dropped my arms, and Skip chose not to move at all. So here's the decision that needs to be made. And Rod, this is a big decision. Sportsmanship is great to a point. You want to finish this thing on the track, we'll give you as much time as you need to fix that car. But right now, you could make the argument to take his car based on that last race. I don't want to just take the car. Just give me a, a, a few minutes to screw around with this training. How much time do you want to make that decision? 15 minutes. Okay, you have 15 minutes to make that decision, and 15 minutes you can still take his vehicle, and I'd highly recommend you consider that option based on what happened. I understand what you're, you're deciding, but you ain't racing the car, so we're going to take our 15 minutes and we'll let you know. Fair enough. I can't hold him off. There's no way. It's coming out of your kick-down cable, dude. The kick-down cable you got blocked off. It's because you're so far out, you're not getting to where you can pull mile an hour. You gotta cut them off and seal them with silicone or something. That's all it's coming out of. Wipe it down and get it on. It's not that bad. Just trying to figure out how to beat that car. I don't know that that's safe, man. They lose control, they can hit you. Is it still leaking? No. Let's get it going. Are you ready? Are we ready? ready? Oh, been good. Here we go. Race number four. Tremaine, it gets squirrely. It does anything. Get out of it. I think Skip got him on that one. Yeah, Skip by three. Oh. 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 What happened there? It, it remotely bit that time. I, I just <laughs> I feathered it out of the hole, got it to sag on the rear end, and it just rolled into the throttle, and it, it stood up and actually wanted to move that time. We're down to the final race Mine's cold for too. everything. You want to try that race again with your bottle unhooked? This is for all the marbles. I'm going to ask you now, Rod, what are you looking for for this final race where if you lose this race, you lose your ride? Six, and I make sure that bottle's disconnected. Wait, you think I sprayed you last you time? No, I mean, I know you disconnected it a while ago, but I'd rather just disconnect the bottle and go with six. Well, if you're uh, so convinced, I'll take the bottle out, and we'll run the same race again. And I'll whip you by three again. I might be fairly convinced, but I ain't stupid. We'll go three minus the nine, make six. That ought to be a straight up race at the other end. I don't think it's any better than that. Okay, I'll, I'll do that race. Six. I'll give you a shot. You want that race? Okay, this is it for the final one. Ladies and gentlemen, the fifth, the Oldsmobile 442, six car lengths. Skip by two. That's a lot of talking for nothing. 
Rod, you had the opportunity to take the car. It may go down in Pink's history as maybe one of the biggest mistakes ever made by a crew chief. That's sweet. I'd word it like that too. You know what they say, um, though? Well, bottom line is, I mean, uh, me and my man discussed it, and he didn't want to. He didn't want to take the car for free, so he wanted to earn it. We had problems with our training. I don't think we lost the car due to a uh, driver error because I think my man did a very good job of driving. But uh, I believe the training's just gone in it. You know, we, we got in high gear and it just it wasn't it wasn't pulling like she has been. Um, you know, all night she's been pulling hard and it just didn't it couldn't do it. That explains the last couple of races. But again, you just, again I said it once. I'll say it again. We didn't want to take it for free. You sustained major damage to your vehicle, and when I thought you were down and out, they gave you the break of the century and you came back and you capitalized on that mistake and won the race. So at this time, I'm gonna ask if you could pull your vehicle T up to the back of the truck and we'll load it on the truck and uh, then you can hand over your keys to Skip. Cool. Let's load it up. I got a picture that kept it. <laughs> <laughs> you got the keys. You need to hand them to Skip at this time. And I have to again say congratulations on an exceptional day and amazing racing. You did a wonderful job. Congratulations. All right, baby. Had it tires on mine. Let's, yeah. Let's make sure nobody don't mess with it. Okay. <laughs>